Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today, I am going to be talking about Chandrayaan-3, India's third mission to the moon. Chandrayaan-3 is an unmanned spacecraft launched by the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, on 14th July 2023. It is the third Indian mission to the moon, and its primary goal is to soft land a lander and rover on the lunar surface in the South Polar region. Chandrayaan-3 consists of a lander and a rover. The lander is called Vikram, and it is designed to land on the lunar surface at a predetermined location. The rover is called Pragyan, and it is designed to explore the lunar surface for up to 12 days. Chandrayaan-3 carries a total of nine scientific instruments, including high resolution, camera, spectrometer, magnetometer, radiometer, neutron detector. These instruments will be used to study the moon's surface, composition, and magnetic field. The main goals of Chandrayaan-3 Soft land a lander and rover on the lunar surface in the South Polar region. Study the moon's surface and composition in the South Polar region. Search for water ice in the lunar polar regions. Understand the moon's evolution. Prepare for future human missions to the moon. Chandrayaan-3 successfully launched on 14th July 2023 and entered lunar orbit on 5th August 2023. The lander, Vikram, successfully touched down on the lunar surface on 23rd August 2023, making India the fourth country to successfully land a spacecraft field. The mission successfully launched on 14th July 2023 and entered lunar orbit on 5th August 2023. The lander, Vikram, successfully touched down on the lunar surface on 23rd August 2023, making India the fourth country to successfully land a spacecraft on the moon. The rover, Pragyan, was successfully deployed from the lander on 24th August 2023 and is currently exploring the lunar surface. The ISRO plans to continue operating Chandrayaan-3 for at least 12 months. Chandrayaan-3 is a major milestone in India's space program and a significant contribution to the international effort to explore the moon. It is also a great opportunity for students to learn about space exploration and the scientific challenges involved in missions to the moon. Here are some specific things that students can learn from Chandrayaan-3. The importance of teamwork and collaboration in space exploration. The challenges of designing and building spacecraft that can survive the harsh conditions of space. The importance of using scientific instruments to study the moon. The potential benefits of exploring the moon such as learning more about the origin and evolution of the solar system. Chandrayaan-3 is a complex and challenging mission, but it is also an exciting and inspiring one. It is a reminder of the human potential to explore and learn about the universe. Students who are interested in space exploration can learn a lot from Chandrayaan-3 and other space missions. Now what kind of programming language and algorithms used in Chandrayaan-3? The programming languages and algorithms used in Chandrayaan-3 are not publicly disclosed by the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO. However, it is likely that a variety of languages and algorithms were used depending on the specific tasks that needed to be performed. Some of the programming languages that may have been used include C++. C++ is a powerful programming language that is often used for high-performance applications. It is likely used in Chandrayaan-3 for tasks such as navigation, guidance, and control. Python Python is a versatile programming language that is often used for scientific computing and data analysis. It is likely used in Chandrayaan-3 for tasks such as processing and interpreting the data from the scientific instruments. MATLAB MATLAB is a programming language and software environment that is specifically designed for mathematical computing. It is likely used in Chandrayaan-3 for tasks such as simulating the lunar environment and testing the performance of the spacecraft. The programming languages and algorithms used in Chandrayaan-3 are not publicly disclosed by the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO. However, it is likely that a variety of languages and algorithms were used depending on the specific tasks that needed to be performed. See, this language is often used for low-level programming tasks such as spacecraft control, data handling, and communication with onboard hardware. Assembly language, in cases where performance and efficiency are critical, assembly language might be used for programming specific hardware components. Now let's talk about algorithms. Space missions involve a wide range of algorithms to accomplish different tasks. Some of the algorithms used in space missions include Navigation algorithms. These algorithms help spacecraft determine their position, trajectory, and orientation relative to their targets or reference points. Control algorithms. Algorithms for spacecraft stabilization, maneuvering, and attitude control ensure the spacecraft operates as intended in space. Image processing algorithms. For missions with cameras or imaging devices, algorithms are used to process and analyze images to extract valuable information. 
Data compression algorithms Spacecraft have limited communication bandwidth, so algorithms that efficiently compress and transmit data back to Earth are crucial. Path planning algorithms These algorithms help spacecraft navigate around obstacles, plan efficient routes, and make optimal decisions during maneuvers. Signal processing algorithms Algorithms for processing data from various sensors and instruments on board the spacecraft. Kalman filter. The Kalman filter is a recursive algorithm that is used to estimate the state of a system from noisy measurements. It is likely used in Chandrayaan 3 for tasks such as navigation and tracking. SLAM, simultaneous localization and mapping, is an algorithm that is used to build a map of an environment while simultaneously estimating the position of the robot within that environment. It is likely used in Chandrayaan 3 for tasks such as navigation and exploration. Machine learning. Machine learning algorithms are used to learn from data and make predictions. They are likely used in Chandrayaan 3 for tasks such as identifying potential hazards on the lunar surface and planning the rover's route. It's important to note that space missions involve multidisciplinary teams with experts in various fields including aerospace engineering, computer science, physics, and more. The choice of programming languages and algorithms depends on factors such as the mission's objectives, the hardware on board, the computational resources available, and the expertise of the team. For the most accurate and up-to-date information about Chandrayaan 3's programming languages and algorithms, I recommend referring to official statements or technical publications from the Indian Space Research Organization (ISRO) or other reputable sources. The specific mathematics equations used in Chandrayaan 3 haven't been publicly disclosed in detail. However, I can provide you with a general overview of the types of mathematical equations that are commonly used in space missions like Chandrayaan. Orbital Mechanics Equations These equations describe the motion of objects in space, including spacecraft and celestial bodies. Equations related to Kepler's laws, Newton's laws of motion, and orbital dynamics are used to calculate trajectories, orbital periods, and orbital maneuvers. Navigation equations, equations related to position, velocity, and acceleration are crucial for spacecraft navigation. Calculations involving inertial navigation, celestial navigation, and sensor fusion play a significant role. Control system equations, spacecraft require precise control of their orientation and motion. Equations from control theory, such as PID, proportional integral derivative, controllers and Kalman filters, are used for stability, attitude control, and maneuver planning. Signal processing equations, spacecraft instruments collect data from sensors, cameras, and other instruments. Equations related to signal processing, filtering, and noise reduction are used to extract meaningful information from raw data. Thermal equations, spacecraft operate in extreme temperature conditions. Equations related to heat transfer, radiation, and thermal equilibrium are used to design effective thermal control systems. Optical equations, if the mission involves optical instruments like cameras or spectrometers, equations related to optics, light propagation, and image formation are used for data analysis. Mathematical modeling equations, equations that describe the behavior of specific physical phenomena encountered during the mission. For example, if the mission involves studying the moon's gravitational field, equations related to gravitational potential and its variations might be used. Communication equations, equations related to communication theory, modulation, and error correction play a role in transmitting and receiving data from the spacecraft. It's important to note that space missions involve a wide range of scientific and engineering disciplines, each contributing their own mathematical models and equations to address specific challenges. The mathematics used in these missions is often complex and specialized, tailored to the unique requirements of each mission's objectives and hardware. For accurate and up-to-date information about the mathematical equations used in Chandrayaan 3, I recommend referring to official publications from the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, or other reputable sources associated with the mission. Thank you for watching our video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting content like this. Please write in the comment box. I will come back with another video. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more informative videos like this. Thanks for watching.